And we'll move to the supplemental items, item 22, Durham Police Department's 2013 Annual Summary Crime Report. Recognize Chief Lopez. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, Council, City Manager's Office, City Attorney's Office. Uh, tonight, today, I want to discuss the Durham Police Department's 2013 crime information and highlights. This report covers the department's six performance measures violent crime, property crime, part one index crime, clearance rates, response to priority one calls, and staffing levels. The executive summary also includes additional information and significant accomplishments in 2013. 2013, the Durham Police Department earned a prestigious gold standard accreditation from the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement, Chicxulia. At that time, the Durham Police Department was the only D-sized agency, law enforcement agency with more than 300 uh, personnel uh, in it, in North Carolina to receive the accreditation. The Police Department, which has been CALEA accredited since 1991, also received the CALEA Meritorious Award for maintaining continuous accreditation for more than 15 years. In October 2013, our Forensics Divi Services Division became officially accredited in the area of forensics inspection. The unit received accreditation from the International Forensics Accreditation Agency, and they're the first agency in the state to receive accreditation of the International Organization for Standardization Standards, which are specific to inspection units and are now used to certify crime scene units. And uh, the Forensic Services Unit accreditation applies to the principles of crime scene investigations, latent print processing, and as well as firearms examination. One other significant highlight for 2013 was the reported robberies were at a 23-year low. Investigators made numerous arrests to solve multiple robbery cases. During 2013, several Dur Durham Police Department programs and initiatives were featured at national conferences. Our residential awareness program, the RAP program, which is a burglary prevention initiative, and our use of intelligence led policing initiatives were featured at the Fall CALEA Conference. Our mental health outreach program and the Becoming Program multi-agency initiatives were highlighted at the Crisis Intervention Team International Conference in Hartford, Connecticut. You will find more about these programs in your executive summary. Part 1 violent crime dropped 6% from 1,721 reported in 2012 to 1,625 reported in 2013. The violent crime rate per 100,000 population was down 30% from the year 2000. Robberies and aggravated assaults were both down in 2012, and as I mentioned earlier, robberies were at a 23-year low. In 2013, violent crime, homicide, rape, robbery, and aggravated assault made up just 13% of all Part 1 index crimes. Homicides and rapes combined made up approximately 1% of all Part 1 crime. This chart provides a look at Part 1 violent crime statistics over a three-year period. Rapes, although the number of reported rapes increased by 40%, that increase was due to a change in the FBI reporting standards, which went into effect January 2013. If we use the old rape definition, the number of reported rapes were equal in 2012 and 2013 with 73 reported rapes in both years. Homicides. There were 30 criminal homicides reported in 2013. In addition, there were two cases that were ruled as self-defense. The 30 homicides included two officer-involved cases, one murder-suicide, and one case that occurred in 2009. There are 12 open cases at this time. Property crime was up by 6% from 2012. The increase was driven in large part by an increase in larcenies, which make up more than half percent of all the Part 1 index crimes. More than a third of the larcenies involve thefts from vehicles or thefts of vehicle parts. Shoplifting accounted for approximately one quarter of all larcenies and 14 percent of all Part 1 crimes. 
This chart provides a look at the Part 1 property crime statistics over a three-year period. Property crimes were up in all three crime categories after Part 1 property crimes were at a 24-year low in 2012. Although our burglaries rose slightly in 2013, they were below the three-year average. Our residential awareness program, the RAP program, uh, our burglary prevention initiative has continued to be an effective crime prevention program. Part 1 index crimes for 100,000 were up by 3.8% in 2013, largely as a result of an increase in larcenies. Index crimes per 100,000 were down by 39.4% since the year 2000. There were decreases in robberies and aggravated assaults in 2013. This pie chart shows the breakdown of part one crimes in 2013. It clearly indicates that larcenies and burglaries account for more than 81% of all part one crime. Violent crimes make up 13% of the reported part one crime. The FBI clearance rates are for cities the size of Durham with populations of 100,000 to 250,000. The 2012 FBI statistics are the most current ones that are available. The Durham Police Department's current rates for part one crimes were above the average uh, clearance rates in all part one crime categories for our cities our size in 2012. The 2013 FBI clearance rates will not be available until later this summer. Our sworn staffing positions were 99% full at the end of 2013. Currently, our own sworn positions are fully staffed. We recently started a basic law enforcement training academy, BLET, we recently, uh, with uh, 26 recruits. We have filled four additional non-sworn positions in the last two months. There were 5,067 Priority 1 calls for service from January 1, 2013 through December 31st, 2013. Our target average response time is 5.8 minutes. We almost met that goal with a 5.9 average response time. Our goal is to respond to at least 57% of our Priority 1 calls in under five minutes. We did not meet that goal with almost 54%. On summary, this graph shows a significant decrease in the Part 1 property and violent crime rates per 100,000 population in Durham since the year 2000. During 2013 holiday season, our employees reached out to people in the communities throughout the city and made extra efforts to enhance safety in shopping centers and other busy areas. Many employees used their money to buy and wrap gifts for the less fortunate. They helped out with the annual shop with the Fraternal Order of Police at Target on Durham Chapel Hill Boulevard. And the officers held the coat drives for residents of a housing community while community resource officers visited businesses, shopping centers throughout the city to share crime prevention advice. One of the highlights of the season was the bicycle officers, Morton and Kalia, entertained an appreciative audience during a special lunch at the Hosiery Mill Apartments. Uh, we'll end our presentation with a short video. Roll film. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a They also won third place in the Raleigh's fundraiser for the police memorial.
Sir? Yes. Thank you, Chief, and congratulations uh, again on accreditation and to the trio that did the singing. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, let me ask other questions by the council, recognize Councilman Moffitt. Uh, first, I just want to comment that our agenda packet has two copies of the presentation, but not the summary. So, um, I, if uh, someone wouldn't mind, I, I think it was just this, you know. Yeah, I think it was might have been the change of dates. Could have been. Uh, yeah, we'll get that to you, though. We did. We did complete it. We didn't think we would be done with it by the end of this week, but we are. Right. Uh, second, uh, could you just quickly just say what the change in the FBI reporting standards are regarding rape statistics? Oh. It, uh, it amounts to the definition of rapes as far as uh, the statistics are concerned. They, expand, they expanded the definition of rape to include additional victims of various forms of sexual assault. So now where otherwise they wouldn't have been included as a, as a rape case, uh, these other victims. Uh, now they are, so it's just a change of, of the definition. Okay, and then I, I sh this is one that I probably should know, but I need to ask. If um, someone breaks into an, uh, well, robbery, I assume, is with a, another individual, right? You're taking the property of another by force. Okay, so if someone breaks into an occupied home, that would be robbery? It would be a burglary unless they encounter the... Uh, Bur bur oh, no, that's, what I was, that's yes, exactly where I was burglary. going. Unless so they encounter the... Uh, the resident. So. Right, okay, so depending on whether it's whether they encounter the occupant, right. it moves from one category to another. It could, yes. Okay, thank you. Is that it? Any other questions? Yes, All right, thank you. Okay, I I'd also let you know that I've been selected to attend the uh, FBI's National Executive Initiative, so I'll be gone next week at uh, Quantico uh, attending the classes, and that's cycle one. It's a two-cycle course. Thank you. Great. Let me ask other, other items.